That's the hot. That's the hotness. Whoo. This thing give me a run for my money more than Deoxys did. That's a shame. Got it. Got it. Got it. Click. G-O-T-C-H-A. Gotcha. There you go. Spirit Tomb, baby. Spirit Tomb. Faint attack, shadow sneak. Wonder, attack. Exceed my calculations. Savage season. Nope. Alright y'all, what's going on guys? Back again with another video, back again with another video, back, back, back again with a... With another video. So when you see this gorgeous and handsome face, might I add, you already know that there's more Pokemon Go info with the church bells, might I add. So in today's video, I have two topics to talk about. This is going to be, first of all, I just want to let you guys know this is going to be a very short video, but it's uh, pretty cool actually. Um, so yeah, so we're not gonna jump into that video now, but we're gonna jump into that video right now. Let's go. Alright guys, so basically as I said in the intro, this is gonna be a very short video. Um, we're gonna basically get right into it. Um, so, uh, plus another thing, my battery as you can see is on 20%. So basically I have to, uh, kind of like get through this video before my phone dies out. Anyhow. Uh, here it says, Shiny, Ghastly, Haunted, and Gengar, 3D assets discovered in the app's network traffic. Now, some of you may have known about this, but uh, I was supposed to have made, actually made this video uh, some time ago. Um, maybe about a couple days ago. But being that we had the Gengar event, uh, I couldn't really get around to it. And then with the bad weather and everything like that, you guys know I like to record outside. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, let's get into this. So, here it says, uh, Trainers, another Shiny leak was discovered by Trails, a data miner with the Pogo Dev group. In addition to the recently added Ho-Oh and Celebi. The Ho-Oh and Celebi 3D models. Trails has found three new shiny models. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. I'm going to say that again. Trails has found three new shiny models. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar. So basically here, they're basically saying that Gas shiny Ghastly is out now. Obviously, you can, when you, once you catch it, you evolve and you'll have a shiny Haunter. And obviously, shiny Gengar is out because that's what we had the event. Uh this past weekend um well yesterday you live on this side of the country but you guys know what i'm saying but anyway let's jump into the rest of this all right so here admittedly trails is not sure when these models were added but they are in now and actually i know when they were added they were actually added uh before uh no as a matter of fact they was added um yesterday when the gengar event went live uh so yeah that's when it, it was added because i actually read on it and that's when they released it. If not, maybe the day before Friday, because I'm still a little shaky on it, so I think it maybe was the day before the day of the Gengar uh, day. But, anyhow, Shiny Gengar, I mean Shiny Haunt, I'm sorry, Shiny Ghastly 
is in the game now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. But anyway, you guys already know what it is. It's just the shiny hype that's going on. There's so many shinies releasing uh, by Niantic, so it's, it's pretty good. Um, so anyway, um, there are no 2D model. There are no 2D shiny. I can't even speak today. I'm trying to make this video. I can't even speak today. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. Uh, there are no 2D shiny icons for the Ghastly family, similar to how Ho-Oh and Celebi models were added. We'll be on the lookout for the 2D sprites as they seem to be a key indicator when a Pokemon or a shiny form is about to become available. In any case, enjoy the pretty pictures, property of manipulation, network, responses fed to a client app. So obviously here's Shiny Ghastly. Shiny Haunter. And finally, last but not least, Shiny Gengar, which we've seen in raids. So, we have all three shiny forms that's actually out in Pokemon Go right now. So, try your hand at it, get out there, catch your shiny Ghastlies and Haunters, and uh, give it the movesets that a lot of you would like, because I know a lot of you still wanted that uh, Shadow Ball Ghastly. And uh, so, just, you know, use your TMs, whatever you're gonna do, but just know that shiny Ghastly and Haunter is now out in the game as well as shiny Gengar. Now, what is going on with all these unused shiny forms? Speculation ahead. If you have been following along, you are surely aware that a number of shiny forms and their 3D models have been added over time, but never used. We are not sure why th th uh, this is happening, as shiny forms are simply recolors of existing 3D models, but the frequency and randomness of the additions hints that a probable Niantic employees only field test is happening somewhere in the US. Now, a similar thing was actually observed before legendary raids were released, as occasional 5-star raids were spotted in the wild. This time, detection could be tricky as shiny Pokemon don't have a map or radar indicator, which means you have to get out there and actually uh, find these shinies because, well, they're not on any kind of maps or any kind of like, uh, you know, Poke map or any third-party app that people use to catch Pokemon. They're not going to show. You have to actually go out there and actually, even if you spoof, you know, you can still catch uh shinies when you spoof but still you still would never really know unless you actually touch on that uh that specific pokemon that happens to have a shiny sprite out but you guys already know this so i don't have to explain that part so anyway we're gonna jump into the rest of this all right now our running theory is that niantic is playing testing several different shiny distribution me mechanisms but be aware that this is purely our gut feeling post raid mechanism for shiny raid bosses normal gameplay mechanism for other shiny pokemon so basically Niantic is, uh, what they're basically trying to say is uh, Niantic might be implementing more raid bosses that could possibly be shiny, like shiny Shanks, shiny Gengar. We've had plenty of shinies uh, that you can get from raids, Lugias, Ho-Ohs, and more. So guys, uh, basically um, I'm going to jump into the second part of this video before I wrap things up. Stay tuned. Alright guys, now during the, um, the Gengar raid um, from yesterday, um, Basically, when you was raiding, uh, there was news that actually came out about mega forms of Pokemon, or specifically Gengar. Now, a lot of people was talking about this, a lot of memes were coming up, a lot of people were talking about it, people weren't sure whether or not their mega forms were actually out. But basically, uh, what's happening is that Niantic is actually may have confirmed that there have been some mega evolutions. So here, it says Pokemon Go Gengar Day, Shiny Ghastly and Mega Evolution confirmed by Niantic. So this is actually something that's really cool if they add this feature to Pokemon Go being that Niantic has confirmed it. Uh, but then again, like you see the quote unquote, so it's confirmed. So it's not technically it may not be confirmed, it's just maybe uh, just talk. So we'll have to just jump into this and basically see what this is all about. All right here, so it says trainers, the Gengar Day event is now over and something quite interesting happened. All right guys, so basically the Gengar Day event went live today, which meant yesterday, and for three hours, Pokemon Go players got a chance to battle and catch Gengar. Its shiny form got, uh, its shiny form got five free raid passes and all Gengar caught. Sorry about that guys, but you gotta love church bells. It is Sunday, it is God's day. So anyway, I guess God wants to be a part of my video. So shout out to God. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Three hour, uh, I'm just gonna start over. Anyhow, the Gengar Day event went live today, which was yesterday, for three hours. Pokemon Go players got a chance to battle and catch Gengar, its shiny form, and got five free raid passes, and all Gengar caught during the event hours, supposed to know, licked 
plus the psychic move. Now, in addition, Shiny Pinter made his debut in the U.S. Now, rumors are saying that Shiny Pinter will be available until November 5th when Safari Zone event in Taiwan ends. Now, I feel like that's the truth because today is the 4th, tomorrow is the 5th, and I've actually caught two other Shiny Pokemon actually today. So, I believe that's actually true. So anyhow, in other countries, a nice to confirm Shiny Ghastly can be caught in the wild. So basically, like I said, Shiny Ghastly is now in the game as I read in the first part of the video. So, go out there and catch your Ghastly. But anyhow, here, Gengar and its Shiny forms were everywhere and the catch rate of its Shiny form was 100%, uh, which was awesome. So you could basically, it was a catch rate of 100%, which you guys, some people were saying they wasn't sure, but I was telling them that it actually was because that's what I heard. But they only heard a few people talking about that, but you, you guys that, that actually caught it, you know it was 100% because every time you encounter a shiny Ghastly and uh, from the rage when you threw the, uh, your premiere ball and you caught it and you knew you caught it every time, you knew it was 100% catch rate. Now, anyway, it says not all Gengar knew Lick plus Psychic move. So some knew Lick and Psychic, some I guess knew Shadow Ball and Lick or whatever it is. But it says see tweet below, shiny Ghastly was nowhere to be seen and looks like Niantic support just confirmed Mega Gengar. Now, this was actually the tweet that was actually on uh, the page I was just on. But anyway, as you can see, this Gengar knew Sucker Punch and Focus Blast. Now, every Gengar knew Lick and Psychic, which we were supposed to actually see. Some people were talking about Shadow Ball and Lick or Shadow Ball and Psychic, but every Gengar, I guess, was different. But this is not a shiny uh, Ghastly. This is a regular Ghastly, obviously, and this is actually 100% Ghastly because uh, the CP... Um, 100% the 100% uh, Gengar is, is a CP 1496 Gengar so and it's still not too late to get 100% Gengar because Gengars are actually still in raids now just not as a part of the event you gotta actually wait for it to hatch and I believe it comes out of a, a tier 4 egg if not it's a tier 3 egg but most likely it's a tier 4 egg so anyway guys uh, we're gonna jump back into this All right, so basically, like I said, not every Gengar knew Lick plus Psychic move. Now, we're going to jump into a little more detail regarding the Mega Evolution forms coming to Pokemon Go. All right, now, just before that, it says next on the list is Shiny Ghastly. Reports are coming and Shiny Ghastly was nowhere to be found and I had to confirm Shiny Ghastly is spawning in the wild. So, as you can see right here, now this now, you have to really listen and watch and actually read along what I'm about to read. Because this right here is a speculation of whether or not Niantic is even thinking or barely thinking of if they're going to implement Mega Evolution forms for Gengar or any Pokemon for that matter. So here, as someone tweeted to Niantic, it says, Please tell me when we can catch Shiny Ghastly in the wild since none of the seven Gengars I paid for today were. Thanks. Now, here's the response from Niantic support. That's a bummer, trainer. The good news is that Shiny Ghastly is available now in the wild. May your Shinies be plentiful and you can evolve a Shiny Gengar soon. Sh it, now, the last form of Ghastly is Gengar. How do you evolve a Gengar? You can't evolve a Gengar unless, unless they're talking about Mega Evolution forms of Gengar. So, that's why I'm letting you guys know. And like right here, it says, now if you pay close attention to the tweet above, you'll see that Niantic mentioned you can evolve a shiny Gengar soon. So that means at some point, they're going to have an implementation where uh, a Gengar will be able to have its Mega Evolution form because that's the only evolution form for Gengar. And remember what Mega Evolution forms are. They're not actually evolved Pokemon, but there's Pokemon that can act, they, they only come, you know, they can only transform into the Mega Evolution forms during battle. And this was on the anime series. And then on the um, the actual game right now, like the handheld game, that, you know, when you're in battle, that's the only time you, you can uh, Mega Evolution your Pokemon. Mega Evolve your Pokemon, rather. And But it, it only stays like that during battle. After battle, it turns back to its regular form. Now... Usually you would need a Gengarite, which is actually a Mega Evolution Stone that you're actually going to need. And several Pokemon has this, like Ampharos, Gengar, Pinsir, and so forth and so on. A lot of Pokemon have Mega Evolution forms. So, we might be seeing Mega Stones come to Pokemon Go. We might see Mega Evolutions come. But Niantic basically is confirming, 
as you can see right before our very own eyes, that we might be getting mega evolution forms of Gengar. And they're probably gonna start out with Gengar because, well, right now we're still on the whole Gengar phase. And we're just getting off the Gengar event from yesterday. So, guys, this may be actually something really huge, something mega. See what I did there? Something mega big, something mega huge. So, pretty soon we'll probably be seeing a mega evolution Gengar. So, they implemented the shiny form of Gengar. They implemented the shiny form of Ghastly. And like I said, if you catch Ghastly, you can evolve it into a shiny Haunter. And then soon, as Niantic said, quote unquote, soon you'll be able to evolve a shiny Gengar. And that doesn't necessarily mean just a shiny Gengar, but it can also mean a regular Gengar as well. So once you get your Gengar, you can evolve it, whether it's shiny or not, and you can evolve it into ultimately a mega form, or its mega form, which is mega Gengar, as uh, you guys actually see by the thumbnail, that's its form. So, uh, but in case you haven't seen it, um, I'm gonna actually show you another picture of, uh, of Mega Gengar if you haven't already. So guys, before I wrap this video up, I'm gonna show you that picture and then I'm gonna wrap this video up, so stay tuned. All right guys, so basically this is Mega Gengar and it's so cool. So imagine to have this as a shiny form of Gengar. So like I said guys, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Make sure you guys like, comment, sub. Share this video where we share cool stuff. Comment down below. Smack a like on this video. Crush the notification bell so you can stay updated on my latest videos. Make sure you turn post notifications on so you can also stay updated on my latest videos. And as always, guys, peace and love. Stay humble. Stay blessed. Keep your head up. And always keep your head not so far in the clouds, but just stay alert. But keep your head up. But anyway, remember, and I'm sitting at a church. So, with God, and by the power vested in me and God, remember to always... Always be blessed, and I'm out. Peace.